Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday morning, August 19th. We're looking at window traders, market profile of the ES and the MQ. So I've been putting on real quickly um, an interview I did, little 30 to 30 seconds to a minute clips. There's 18 of them uh, on um, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. So for people who do watch the video but aren't in the room, just spend a little time and watch those and see what we have to offer, okay? Um, appreciate it. Okay, now, here we are. New week, 10 days to go in the month. So let's look at the bigger picture first, right? Bigger picture in ES is to finally take out that Thursday's high, August 1st. That would complete taking back that three-day downdraft. NQ has already done that. However, NQ has a massive gap above it, okay? Not gonna be easy to fill. That gap will not, will not be filled without a trend day, unless you have a huge gap above it one day. The bear's goal, it is simple, to take out a daily low and stop the one time framing up on the daily and put that back to balance. Those are the two big goals heading into today. Then, as the market starts painting its picture and getting more visual, we see what the intraday is going to bring us. Which side's going to be in control? The bulls or the bears? Right now, in balance, in value, worse of the risk reward, no real advantage for either side early in the day, right? Righty <clears throat> has traded inside of Friday's range, okay? Remember I said you could use J's low and even G's high as just reference points. We'll see which one holds if, well, maybe both of them get taken out. So um, early game plan, very, very difficult to give one at these levels. The only thing I'll say, and I say this constantly, but they seem to work, is if you are near the overnight high or low, front running them generally work in ES and NQ. Not in Ridey. Ridey usually doesn't play games at their overnights. Okay? Also said, if we open up inside of this day's range, right, we do have, we lost the afternoon pullback, remember, in M period. So there's nothing. So please just be careful and don't get chopped up. If you open in balance in value and stay inside of Friday's range tree a bit, you're going to have some massive, massive chop. Okay, keep that in mind. And then chart wise, again, here's the daily. Nothing can change for the uh, bears until they take out a daily low. Now, volume continues, continues to dry up. And then on the weekly, right, the weekly high <clears throat> was 555.02. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. 555.02 in SPY. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If we take out Friday's high, we will be taking out the weekly high. Now, would I automatically call the weekly up? In ES's case, yes, I would. Okay, you'd be coming out of balance. In Triple Q's case, give me one second. Um, why don't they have the recent charts up here? There you go. Recent, oh, I don't know why Triple Q's didn't stay in there. Just want to see something real quick on Triple Q's for you. Now, it's a little different. If you're only using a three-week balance, you can call it up if they take out Friday's high. Or wait to take out this high of 481.16. Uh, not 481. 484.43. So that's something um, you would have to decide. But first things first, let's see. Uh, again, let's see if they can get into that gap and do some damage, at least partway today. You have Fed Minutes on Wednesday. You have Jackson Hole on Thursday and Friday. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.